A relative of a former dangerous individual from the vicinity of Spanish Town has been held by the police with some illegal dangerous tools, along with accessories to match. A 20-year-old man who is said to be a relative of a former Spanish Town dangerous individual is now in police custody. Following an operation that led to the discovery of a dangerous tool last Friday. The man has been identified as Renil Hope, also called Ron. He's an unemployed person of Hold Harbor Road, Spanish Town. He was arrested at approximately 10 p.m. last Friday. Reports are that in a joint police military patrol that was conducted in relation to a snap operation in the Ellerslie Pen community during which the accused was seen and accosted by the police. During a search, a SIG saw a dangerous tool along with a magazine containing 49mm rounds of accessories was reportedly found in his right front pocket. Hope has since been charged with illegal possession of a dangerous tool and illegal possession of accessories. Some reports the trial of some individuals that are related to a dangerous individual from Tivoli Gardens had to be rescheduled. The trial of three relatives of the current TG dangerous individual CDC, including his son and four co-accused that have been implicated in the passing of another dangerous individual from Denham Town, failed to start on Wednesday. When the matter was called up before Justice Leighton Pews in the Home Circuit Court, it was disclosed that one of the defense attorneys in the case was not feeling well. The prosecution also requested additional time to prepare their case against the seven accused persons. With that information in mind, Justice Pews remanded all seven individuals in police custody until April 19th, when the trial is expected to start. Those that have been charged with the passing of this man from Denham Town, which occurred on March 12, 2018, are Liberty, Titiman, Bamati, Alien, and Ratti, along with Cephas. The accused are also charged with other offenses related to the passing, including planning to take a life, illegal possession of a dangerous tool, and illegal possession of accessories. The individual who passed away was said to be the leader of a dangerous group in the Denham Town area. However, it was also reported that this group was in a serious issue with rival dangerous individuals from TG. The man had reportedly influenced a group of dangerous individuals from Denham Town to mount opposition to the rule of law that was said to have been imposed on West Kingston, including Denham Town, by enforcers from TG. The investigators said that a female Lord Davis to a hotel in St. Andrew on March 12, 2018, and he was held, and shellings was issued at him, and he was later placed in the trunk of a car. He was later left in the Bournemouth Beach area of Rockforth in East Kingston. Following an investigation, the seven suspects were charged by the police. Police officers are in receipt of some long time behind bars after taking what was not theirs from a Manchester businessman. A corporal who was once assigned to the Kingston Western Police Division is among two law enforcement officers who were given time behind bars for taking something from a Manchester businessman. They managed to remove his licensed dangerous tool along with a sum of cash. In 2013, Corporal Givens, who recently pleaded guilty to his involvement in this incident, was given 10 years for forcefully taking items from this businessman. Additionally, he was given 7 years on the count of illegal possession of a dangerous tool. All three sentences are scheduled to run concurrently. The other law enforcement officer, Constable Gassop, who was found guilty after a lengthy trial, was given 18 years behind bars. Man was also given 18 years for taking items forcefully and, of course, an additional 15 years for two counts of illegal possession of a dangerous tool. His sentences will also run concurrently. The men appeared in the Dangerous Tools Court on Friday. 
It was alleged that in October 2013, three policemen went to the businessman's house in Mandeville, Manchester, claiming that they were in search of some individuals that were wanted. They then proceeded to take the businessman's money and his licensed dangerous tool. The incident was later reported to the police and following an intense investigation, the three police officers were arrested and charged. However, one of the officers was later acquitted of the charges against him stemming from the incident. Like, comment, share and subscribe. Let me know what you think about all of the matters that have been discussed in this session. And of course, remember to remain alert and vigilant at all times. Your security is your top priority. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.